Uh, what's going on guys? So, YouTube is back. I have done it in the past. It's more of a time thing. I've got a bit more time out here, so I thought I would uh, get some videos made up. So there's gonna be some of just of me just vlogging like this, and then there's gonna be more uh, sort of the professional ones, but obviously I appreciate you guys most likely watching this are in a lockdown. So I hope if anything, it's just a bit of entertainment for 10 or 20 minutes just to sort of see what I get up to. Um, I put a lot of stuff on stories, but just to, something to watch for 10, 20 minutes, do you know what I mean? We're gonna go through what the morning routine looks like, we're gonna get a session in, um, and then we're gonna see sort of what post-workout looks like. So sit back, enjoy, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video, I hope you do. So this is the gym that is on the first floor of the block of apartments that we're in. So in terms of convenience, it's ideal. I literally just get changed first thing, grab my water, don't even think about it. I get up and then I go. For me, that's the best way for, for me to do this right now. My morning routine will really kick off afterwards. Um, so I don't, I don't journal, I don't do anything. This for me right now is a matter of just getting a sweat on. Um, so music will go on. Um, I'll have a little bit of a scroll on Instagram um, because quite often I'll post in the evenings. Um, and then obviously being out here four hours ahead, I can then have a look at what the post is saying. But a few minutes on that and then it's just music head down um, and get to work really. So cardio job done, quick shower for, probably won't film that. Probably save that for the OnlyFans with Joe that we're gonna set up. Okay. Our OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so now it's obviously more of a routine part, so sort of supplements. Um, gratitude log and some meditation so we'll go through that now um, and then actually I forgot to mention that we've got a few other stragglers who have uh, escaped lockdown so we'll be uh, picking them up today too oh, so vitamin DK2 essentially want to be thinking about the immune system here so one of these every morning one at night Do Abstract flow, essentially looking at kidney and uh, blood pressure markers. So again, four caps of these morning and night. And then we've got CV stack, which is for all things heart and cholesterol based. Now, I personally would most definitely recommend CV stack to absolutely anyone, um, particularly those with obviously blood pressure related issues. Um, actually had family members use this just for general health um, and you do notice markers come down um, even without prescription drugs so that is obviously uh, an amazing one lovely yeah nice bit of uh, dustbin noise that great <laughs> and then we also have the greens powder compare it to any formula um, and this one is both probably best value for money, but the quality is, is unbelievable with that. So these are sort of what I take just after cardio. So subs banged out, literally takes two minutes. And then a little double espresso. Would usually go with a flat white, but that's just, just what the pods we've got in a minute. And bats go out here, but a horrible feeling. Work started it. The boys are clocking in for the day. So here's uh, what I've got to deal with. So I'm gonna have to put my earphones in, which is all good. And also, uh, it's obviously probably not the one in terms of uh, 
wanting to do the gratitude log and uh, a bit of med a bit of meditation with this on. So I think they're going to go in a minute. So I'm just going to wait for a sec. Talk to Joe, who is here. That's idyllic, isn't it? I was going to come out here with like, morning coffee. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Can't see. Cool. And we've got the three <laughs> three musketeers down here. Right, yeah, and uh, with our view, we can we can see downtown, so you can see the Burj. This vlog was going to be like, oh, look how impressive our uh, our view is. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'll show you that another time. Right, so they've buggered off. Now we can uh, get with it. <laughs> So basically, I left my diary, I think, at the last Airbnb, which is an absolute disaster. So I used my phone for today, and what I'll go with is for today was gratitude. So it sounds so simple, but it's almost become a bit of a cliche now, which is a bit annoying. Um, but the whole point of gratitude is if you, if you begin to seek small things to be grateful for, so it can be as simple as a roof over your head or whatever it may be like that, you're then training yourself to be more grateful for the, 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 the simplest of things, things that you don't have to buy, things you don't have to go and chase. You know, grateful for going on that walk today. And why do we want to do that? Because feeling grateful is a nice emotion to have. So if we do it more often, we're going to feel better. And there is some science behind gratitude, but I won't go into that maybe for another time. Um, and then so also to my intentions for the day. So things that I know I really need to tick off um, by writing them down they feel like more of an objective where if you just got like an idea in your mind it can sort of go by the by so the thing like with me and Joan obviously working out here is is making sure that we are very very regimented and, and got our routine locked down in particular in the mornings when we're both most productive um, so we'll write down what we need to get up to what we need to tick off make sure it happens because we are in Dubai you know and there's temptation everywhere um, so in, in all sorts, more of like a, a procrastination temptation, obviously the obvious, being close to nightlife, not that we'd ever do that, but there's temptation just to, to, for days just to go by. And there's things that obviously we need to be working on behind the scenes to improve our service, whether it's just, even if it's just YouTube, like make sure editing YouTube for an hour. So writing these things down allow us to tick those boxes. So I really recommend you do that. Um, it, it's things that you put on the back burner, it brings them to, brings them to light. And then I also write down what I manifest now. So instead of being in a mindset of, I want this to happen, I really want this to happen, because there's that bus, school bus. There's nothing worse than having the feeling of wanting something and not getting it. However, if you're ingraining in your mind that you really, I really want this to happen, I really want this to happen, all you're speaking into existence is more feeling of want and wanting and not getting is not nice so what you do by say i manifest now is you manifest the things that you want but you're bringing it as if you have it in the now and that could be things from business can be things emotions it can be people it can be things it could be anything that you want but you change it to manifest because you don't want to want something forever it's a horrible feeling you want it now God, it's a boggler, isn't it? It's a boggler. Um, so we're uh, gonna go pick up the boys. We're gonna go pick up the boys in a minute. And then also what I do each morning, forgot to mention, got too much into that, is some sort of meditation. Now I've been doing meditation for about two years now, so you don't, I don't necessarily need to have it guided. Um, but what I would recommend is Spotify playlists are free, guided meditation, find which one sort of resonates with you. Headspace is a great app because it, it keeps track of your minutes so it becomes a bit of a challenge. Um, everyone likes to get a score, so that's really good for that because it makes you feel quite satisfied seeing your minutes go up. Um, or just simply a really challenging task is to try and take 10 deep breaths, four seconds in, four seconds out, without having a single thought in your mind. And if you have a thought, to not question it. That's, for me, that's the toughest one, to have 10 deep breaths of eight seconds per breath. So just you know, a good over a minute of trying to have complete presence and not overthink, well, what have I got to do there? What did I do yesterday? It's quite a good one. So three different things for you to try out there. Um, I need to eat too. And quite conveniently, obviously, we moved into this yesterday. But one of the best spots in Dubai is Expectations. 
and it's literally there. So I think we're probably going to go there before we pick up the boys. And then me and Joe have got legs today. I'm not sure if any of the boys will join in because obviously they're travelling, so we'll see. So morning routine done. Uh, one meal's gone in. Check the uh, work phone. And now I'm off to go and pick up the boys. Boris, a few more have escaped. And there's nothing you can do, mate. <laughs> The boys. <laughs> the boys are here. So the boys are in. Went and picked them up. So now we're going to head to Train Beach. Best thing to do when you land if overnight flight is just to it's just a crack on. So I'm going to take them there. I'm going to go through the session. It's legs with a little bit of upper in there for good measure, just because uh, it's a beach club really. So you don't want to come out without a bit of an upper pump. So be a little bit of that. The sun's coming out now after the terrible start to the day. So. Just need to get some food in beforehand um, and then we will go through the session, but this place is unbelievable. It's a little uh, sort of beach bar vibe. And then also the gym is just in there. So it's easy going. So. I think the food's here now. Boys are in. Let's do it. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Thanks. Ooh. Free meal to go in. Let it settle. You do. Yeah. Over a bit of uh, sunshine and chill. And then we'll get into the session.
the boys are in and now for us to spend the day here so I hope you enjoyed the video like I said I hope it just entertained if anything there'll be a lot more to come for now 